Hello guys, this is T-Port Guides and uh, this is part 8. Um, as I've promised in part 7, um, this would be more of a, a question type of tutorial. Um, what I'm going to do for this tutorial is I'm going to answer three of the questions within the Associate Study Guide. Um, and if you guys ever get stuck within uh, with the other questions within the Study Guide, please let me know. Um, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Um, so starting with question one, we can see that i and j's two variables assign the values of zero. So we've got an if statement here. Um, so we need to see if this condition is going to be true. Uh, now reading that i has a post fixing, j has a prefix in. i is evaluated um, and the value is zero um, and is not incremented till later. Um, so we're checking, this is comparing if it's equal to j. j, the value is incremented by one uh, before j is evaluated. So uh, j would be equal to one. And so this condition would be false. Uh, so we'll run to this statement, the else part of this uh, if statement. Um, but as we come to the else part, we should realize that i would be also incremented by one as well as the pro post fixing would take effect. So what would be printed out would be false i this one. This is what would be printed out. Now looking at question two we can realize that C is the correct answer because within Java we don't have that, we don't have that, we don't have this, we only have the right unsigned shift which is that, not the left unsigned shift because as we remember the whole purpose of the right uh, shift unsigned is to tell us if the number is negative or positive but um, the left shift would actually mean nothing to us, it, would not rep it, would, it wouldn't show us anything. Um, okay, and the D is because of this, that's why it's not the correct answer. Now moving on to question 3, we need to say what would the last remainder be. So looking at this, we've got 49 divided by 26. Uh, 49 divided by 26, the remainder would be 23. So 23 divided by 5 would give us a remainder of 3 because we would have 4 5s which will make um, 20 and then 3 is the remainder and then 3 divided by 1 which would give us 0 remainder so our answer would be D okay I hope uh, this has helped you guys out a bit uh, see you guys in the next tutorial and thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel